If you support homeopathy in any way, you're a f idiot, okay? I can't think of any other way to describe it. It's a f***ing cult. If you disagree, you're an idiot. It is what it is. That's f***ing outrageous. What I would accept is homeopathy works purely as a placebo and nothing more. You are being a wheezy little f***, okay? And I'm gonna f***ing show how you're being a wheezy little f*** right now. And I'm not having that little weasel on my stream again until I'm prepared to talk about this. Why have you sent me sources that say this then, you f***ing idiot? It's f***ing bullshit. I'm not gonna take it from smug f***ing pricks like Booksmarts who act like they're so f***ing clever on stream and they've got all these studies and then when you get to the meat and potatoes of what they've sent you, it's a bunch of bunk f***ing bullshit. Because Booksmarts is a little f***ing weasel. He's a little piece of shit weasel, okay? Who's come on my stream and acted like a smug prick and now I've looked into it a bit more and he's full of shit. Booksmarts is a bit all over the place in the positions he's got on homeopathy. And I just think that he said some stuff that I want to sort of address. And also the shit he sent me about it is literal fucking brainworm shit. Well, he said a number of things. He, he sort of, he, he's claiming that, oh yeah, well, some of these alternative remedies are actually okay. Yeah, I mean, as long as whatever the outcome is has got some, um, you know, medical basis some sort of studied um peer-reviewed medical basis as a treatment for the condition or whatever it is that's fine obviously but if someone is promoting complete bullshit as a as a solution to a medical problem and there's no medical basis for it then obviously that's wrong so i don't think anyone would disagree with that and to be clear there is medical evidence that things like homeopathy and other stuff is good for you right and we're we're clear on that Okay, do you have, I mean, is there anything I can read? Do you have any, any links or, I'm, I appreciate it's off the top of your head, but like, purely from like a, you know, the perspective of, oh, if you're speaking to a doctor, they should be a bit more permissive of like, if you're on homeopathy or something like that, right? I was like, okay. And then on my stream, you know, I pushed the point and said, well, it is just a placebo though. You agree it's just a placebo. And he said, yes. But then I heard him talking some trash on his own stream. But it's not even effective in a supplementary way. All it is literally just a placebo. That's it. But then on his own stream, he said that it was wrong to call alternative medicine a placebo. And I'm thinking like, well, what is your fucking position then? Like, what is your actual position? Because, you know, I need to, I need to listen to everything. Find out what his position is. Because homeopathy is quack science. Okay, it's pseudoscience, it's quackery, it's bullshit, okay? It's complete nonsense. If you support homeopathy in any way, you're a fucking idiot, okay? The NHS is against it, and there's a big report about it. The American like medical associations are, you know, say it's, in it's ineffective, it's just a placebo, okay? So I just want to clarify some of the positions on it, because, yeah... I don't like the idea that we're going around saying pseudoscience is something that we should be supportive of because it's crazy, you know? No, weed is never... Homeopathy is where is where you have medicine that is reduced down to like one parts per million and shit like that. Homeopathy isn't based, okay? Homeopathy is pseudoscience. If you disagree, you're an idiot. It is what it is. And I'm just... Wor and the thing is as well, right? If you're like, oh, it's just a placebo, well... You know, okay, maybe there's other forms of placebo or something like that. There's too much evidence supporting it. Clara, you are fucking stupid, okay? We established this yesterday. No wonder you're getting taken in by Dr. K if you're supporting homeopathy. Like, literally, it's the stupidest shit. There isn't evidence supporting it. There aren't, there isn't clinical research that supports it. All of everything I've read from every single reputable source says there is not sufficient research of a high clinical standard to confirm anything. Honestly, you're going to make, like, no, no, Duma, don't, Clara's a fucking idiot that was here yesterday saying, saying that you're, that changing your diet can cure cancer, okay? Oh, you, oh, sorry, Clara, you know people who cured their cancer from eating. Oh, right, sorry, I didn't realise you had anecdotes, my apologies. No wonder you're getting taken in by Dr. K, you fucking idiot. Okay, listen, I disavow, we need to stop, we need to stop with this, okay, it's mean. But don't worry, we'll get to the book smart stuff soon, okay? But for now, I've got some other things I want to talk about. So the first thing I just want to let you know is um, Mr. Girl has seen my coverage of the situation and we've had a brief chat about it. I'm hopefully going to be kept abreast of any uh, changes that occur in the situation as we go on. Now, from there, I've also got some information here that Mr. Girl was privy to somehow, which we'll look at. Um, first of all, I just want to talk about this. Okay.
So I want to let everyone know that there is absolutely zero chance of Dr. K losing his medical license as a result of Mr. Gold's complaint to the Massachusetts Board of Medicine. The Massachusetts Board of Registration in Medicine took away the medical licenses of less than 35 doctors in 2021. One of them was caught hiring a hooker. Another was convicted of assault and battery. This information is publicly available on their website. You basically have to be found guilty of committing a crime to have your medical license revoked in Massachusetts. <laughs> that's yeah that's not an argument in your favor oh you only are gonna have problems if you do the literal worst shit you can possibly do that's not an argument in your favor you might be you might be you know it might be true that nothing's gonna happen but that doesn't mean that dr care hasn't done anything wrong fucking hell one doctor who prescribed a steroid addict steroids Literally only got an admonishment, which is basically just a warning, even though it was blatantly obvious the doctor knew exactly what they were doing. Doctor cares absolutely nothing to worry about. Mr. Girl is simply trying to generate drama to attract attention because they're a pathetic person and nobody should take their complaint seriously. I also don't think Dr. K should interview Mr. Girl because Mr. Girl is a manipulative liar that will use the interview as a way to generate controversy and attention. I'm saying it right. This Dr. K shit... It's a, it is a fucking cult. It is a fucking cult, okay? I can't think of any other way to describe it. It's a fucking cult. It's fucking mental. Like, the the people that are fucking defending him, it's madness. So, this is the email, internal email. I don't know what's on a twit longer. You may have been made aware of a critic of Healthy Gamer and more recently a stream done with the Healthy Gamer coach. Want to make sure you're all in the loop as you may see comments arise. A few thoughts below. TLDR, I continue to stand by ethics mission and people as we continue to do what's right by our community and build experience that inspire mental health journeys all over the internet. We'd rather take constructive feedback from our coaches and clients. Right, okay. So unless you're giving them fucking money, <laughs> they ain't fucking interested. Unless you work for them or give them money, they're not interested. You're, you're making malicious claims. You're making malicious claims, apparently. Okay, interesting. If you have any concerns, we are always open to meeting with you. Did you see someone ask Mr. Girl to speak to you last night on his stream? Oh, did they? Is, that's probably where it came from. I'll speak to Mr. Girl. Uh, some, maybe after the video comes out, we can have a chat about it. That'd be interesting. But the only thing is, like, we're just going to agree about it. Like, I don't know what value there'll be in, in us having a chat, really. TLDR, I continue to stand by our ethics, mission, and people as we continue to do what's right by our community and build experience to inspire mental health journeys all over the internet. We'd rather take construct... Oh, I've read that already. Okay. To more AOE healing. On criticism... HG is open to criticism and, in fact, appreciates it. We create avenues for constructive criticism from HG clients after... So why is it that they're saying... It seems like they're only willing to accept criticism from their coaches or their clients. That's a bit fucking weird, isn't it? Again, if you're a medical professional, okay, why are you so worried about scrutiny, even if it comes from someone that isn't giving you money or works for you? What? That doesn't make any fucking sense. If it's all above board, what's wrong with scrutiny? What well, even, even, you know, if you're a medical professional, even the worst faith scrutiny will not stand up to the test of time because it's bad faith and it's not true. This, this doesn't make any sense. This is bullshit. After every session in the PSF, through case reviews, office hours, and through our customer support staff where clients can share their concerns. The criticisms that we care about are from the people we are trying to help, full stop. Okay, yeah, he's just said it explicitly then. That's fucking outrageous. That's fucking outrageous. Okay, let's... T okay, imagine if there was actually a cult, okay? Imagine if there was actually a cult and the cult leader said the criticisms that we care about are, are from the people we're trying to help whilst they're doing a cult. How would you... You'd be like, what? That, of course, that's absurd. I'm not saying this is actually a cult. I was being hyperbolic earlier, but I'm trying to highlight to you the fact that it's because these people that are clients, you know, there's a vulnerability there potentially. It can be very tempting to defend ourselves against allegations, criticisms. The more outrageous, the more tempting. Some critics simply cannot be healthily engaged with.
Listen, Clara, you are literally fucking deranged, okay? You said eating a better diet can cure cancer, and you'd have been defending homeopathy this morning. You're fucking mental. I don't know what else to tell you. I'm going to stop engaging with you for my own mental health. It can be very tempting to defend ourselves from allegations, criticisms. The more outrageous, the more tempting. Some critics cannot be healthily engaged with. You can get off neutrally at best. Defending can sometimes be about our own ego. You can get off neutrally at best. Defending can sometimes be about our own ego. Wanting to be validated and assure people that can be can do meaningful work. But this makes it about us, which is not where the focus should be. If people have criticism, the right way for us to handle it is to consider it seriously and implement changes to help our clients, not defend our public image. Impact, not image. Across HG content, coaching and community, we, now more than 100 of us, have inspired mental health journeys all across the internet. This is real and no amount of YouTube investigation will change that. It is possible because of all the work that you do and the, all the work you do and the ethos with which you do it. As a result, we've had immense impact on our community and our clients. This is the most important thing. Healthy Gamer isn't about doctor care of a single person. I wonder if they have that logic when it comes to splitting up the amount of money that's made. <laughs> it's not just about a single person until it comes time to dish out the profits and then doctor care is fucking stuff it, stuffing cash in. It's about the collective work we do to advance the mental health needs of the people we serve. We're grateful our coaches operate with a strong moral compass and that you advocate for what's best for your clients in the community. Frankly, we wouldn't want it any other way. If you have any questions, I'm here and available to chat. Where we go from here? We are taking this opportunity to ensure that all HG coaches have avenues on top of DMs, ticketing and other measures to express any concerns and all our messaging aligns accordingly. For example, we've been in the process of evaluating various third-party ethics hotline services so that anyone in the HG community, including clients, coaches, employees, and community members, have an anonymous place to document and voice concerns. We look forward to sharing this and hope to have our partnership secured and ready to share in the coming weeks. Oh, by the way, sorry, Supreme. Let me just respond to your comment. I wanted to respond to that. I think as long as the ethics board Dr. K answers to is aware of what he's doing, then I don't think there's any obligation whatsoever to respond to critics. Um, well, yeah, but the thing is, some people have a problem with the very fact that Mr. Girl has filed a complaint. It's agitating them. And again, if there's no nothing to hide, why do you have a problem with scrutiny? Not you, but like generally speaking, people that have got an issue with that. You know, I, you know, like I agree that like if the ethics board looks at it and considers it and it's all above board, then it is what it is. Generally speaking, the engaged directory of public critics has its risks. Even if you speak well for one hour and misspeak once, say something that can get taken out of context, then that is what will be clipped and shipped. Furthermore, some people are professionals at causing people to trip up, this giving them opportunities to clip and increase views. Recent media empiricence from the mods of our anti-work exemplify this point. <laughs> You're a fucking professional company. You're a fucking professional company and you're comparing it to a fucking subreddit where they sent some person to fucking do an interview. That's unbelievable to me. That's unreal. You're a fucking big professional company and you're using the example of some fucking random subreddit where they sent some idiot to do an interview on Fox News. Even if you think you're doing a good job, you're playing a game that without formal PR media training, you may not know the rules. Therefore, we advise but do not prohibit that you don't participate. While the company does not condone the manner in which concerns were addressed and could be in violation of our policies, I'd be remiss to not recognise some of the areas that were handled well on the coach's part. There are no incentives for coaches to hold on to clients for longer than clients want to stay, i.e. no perverse incentives for coaches to hold on to a client who would be better off in therapy, extend unnecessarily or to sell our services in any way. We have escalation protocols for when a client is not an appropriate fit for subliminal sub, clinical support and needs licensed or urgent help. The coaches have ability to drop clients who do not seek clinical support or are otherwise inappropriate for coaching. There is no messaging internally or externally that would suggest coaches should try and handle clinical issues. Whilst that's probably true in the most literal sense of the word, when you're talking about helping people with severe depressive depressive feelings or whatever it was do you know what i mean it's like there are lines blurred everywhere anyway all messaging and practice are currently under review as standard practice again as an opportunity to self-reflect we'll make adjustments to make sure everything is clear as we continue to audit please bring anything you think that needs a second look to my and megan's attention finally if you have any questions around what is or isn't considered a policy violation in the realms of media posting etc please reach out to the admin team we'll be glad to help provide clarity 
If you need guidance at all out navigating this, just reach out. Anyway, let's talk about book smarts. Let's talk about book smarts. Let's listen to the segment of the thing yesterday. The whole video is going to be going up on YouTube at some point. Um, but I just need to clarify something because, you know, obviously I only remember the conversation from having had it. So I just want to look at this segment specifically about the homeopathy and just see what he actually said because I want to clarify some points and just make sure that I'm not, you know. Well, here's the thing. And this is going to upset some people, but this is the reality of like healthcare nowadays. Like from my understanding, working with like nursing students and stuff back when I did papers um, is that as long as it is in addition to like modern medicine or like modern treatments or like commonly accepted modern treatments, a lot of this can be fine. And there are studies that prove that it's beneficial to people. So like, for instance, homeopathy. So homeopathy, as long as like, let's say you're, you have cancer, you have some kind of chronic illness, as long as you're receiving modern medicine and like modern treatments for that, you can, in addition to that, receive things like homeopathy and see like a, 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 an increase in like how the patient is feeling or an increase in outcomes because a lot of stuff is mental. And if they can get through it by thinking that these other things are contributing to their well-being, whether they are or not, that can be helpful. And where we're talking about something like mental health or like mental health issues, that applies duly there. So that's why like, I think it's a little more complicated than just saying this has no place here. Like, well, no, it has a place in a treatment regimen that consists of other things, right? Okay, but, um, but that's just a placebo then. But I don't, I just, I don't think it has a place. I think that's, I think, I think that's putting too much onto it. I don't think homeopathy has a place in any treatment regime. Um, you know, and I, you know, this is why I got confused because later I say, well, it seemed earlier like you were saying it would be prescribed. Um, and and. He goes, no, no, no. I was just saying, like, if it, you shouldn't be too dismissive of it. But the thing is, is like, yeah, I feel like, like, yeah, okay, placebos work. We know this. But he, the way he's putting it across is like there's some sort of inherent value in, in homeopathy, even though it is just literally a placebo and that's it. It is, we'll get into it. Homeopathy is a placebo. It's nothing more than a placebo, okay? And if someone is selling you a placebo and the idea is that it's doing something medical, when it is just a placebo, that's fucking wrong. I think that's totally wrong. I think it's wrong to sell someone something for an expensive amount of money when it's just a placebo. I don't need to speak to him. I don't need to speak to him right now. I might catch up with him later. But for the moment, I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about and we'll go from there. That okay, I'm going to start to get pissed off. I'm not saying if someone is just doing it, like that's one thing. You're talking about rose water. But if someone is going to a homeopathic practitioner and they're paying for treatment and it's just a placebo, that's fucking wrong. And no, I don't think it should be fucking supported because they're paying money for a placebo. And that's out of order. That's fucking out of order. And they're getting put alongside a bunch of quack doctors who knows what fucking bullshit that they're going to fucking... I'm sorry. I feel like I feel like I'm having like bullshit quackery slid under the radar with shit arguments. Okay. And I'm not having it. I'm not having it. I'm not having someone say that homeopathy is in any way good. Homeopathy isn't good. Homeopathy is a placebo and that is it. And you should not be getting charged 200 pound a session by some quack doctor for a placebo. That's wrong. That is wrong. And I still, I'm firm on that. Like I see people in the in the chat that are like homeopathy is absolute nonsense and blah blah blah. And it's like I get the sentiment. It's just it's not like technically correct. So homeopathy is complete nonsense. It is complete fucking nonsense. But you want to be careful about that. I don't think it's worth writing off like placebo effects. If you if you what I would accept is homeopathy works purely as a placebo and nothing more. That is the only position that I would accept as correct on this. I don't like the way this is framed because it lends an undue credence to homo homeopathy, IMHO. Or, you know, effects on like the human psyche. I think that's that's an important part of feeling better. Sure, but like the actual mechanics of the treatment, like putting something in a million parts water, then yep. putting that in, that is obviously not goofy. really, like, yeah. Right. When, you, when you see the sources in a sec though, you'll start to see why I'm a bit annoyed about this because the sources he sent were fucking crazy. You'll see, you'll see in a sec. <laughs> It's goofy. But, yeah. okay. I thought something else I just wanted to check with you. Sure. Yeah. So, um, and homeopathy you know, itself doesn't claim to be a placebo. It claims to be a valid medical treatment. I'm fairly certain that if I were to look at American medical information, I would imagine that there'd be a lot of stuff about how shit homeopathy is. But my question to you is, if a physician, like a primary physician is like, right, this person needs... Spoiler alert, I was correct. ...needs some sort of treatment to help their mental state. 
Why would they recommend homeopathy? Why would they not just say like, right, here's a pill. This is going to improve your cancer care. And it's a sugar pill. Take that every day. And then that's going to be like a whole lot cheaper for everyone involved. Why the fuck would they recommend homeopathy? It doesn't make sense so, just because it's got a placebo effect. You would recommend it if you could have another it, thing that gives a placebo effect. I, I don't know the full answer to that yet, but I do think I figured it out a bit more. I think that there's some sort of ethical thing with placebo treatment. I think there's some sort of adverse effect with placebo treatment. So I... I, I uh, sorry, no, sorry. What I mean is I think there's some sort of ethical consideration with doctors giving placebo treatments. So I, I think that I think there's some sort of eth ethical concern uh, somewhere with like if a doctor can't just give you a sugar pill and say it will, it will heal, you, heal you and it's purely a placebo. Yeah, let me be super clear. So it's not that this is getting recommended by the physician. It's that you have your physician advise you on this as a choice you're making as a patient. So if I was a patient and I'm interested in homeopathy or interested in adding that into my care regime, I would go to my primary care physician or whoever else and I would say, hey, so I know you've got me doing this, this and this. Would it conflict with that to like do this homeopathic thing or whatever? Or is this homeopathic thing safe for me? And, and that's when you would be going to them. It's not that they're prescribing that to people necessarily. In some places they do. Do you see why I was confused, though? Because earlier, the way he was putting it, to me, didn't come across that that was his point at all. That it was just someone going to a doctor and going, you know, what about this homeopathy? Do you know what Boy, I mean? He said some bad words. He said the N-word. Here we go. Book Smarts is here. Are there some kinds of homeopathy that aren't just essential oils? It seems like Chud Logic uses them interchangeably. How the fuck am I using them interchangeably, you fucking idiot? You fucking idiot. I, think I smell a walk back with pizza I'm talking about don't hurt homeopathy, me, which is where um, dilutions of certain medication, drugs, whatever it is, to sometimes, you know, two or three parts per million are used as a treatment for medical care. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm just focusing on the outcomes and, and trying to make that clear and like rallying against that talking point from people. Because like even looking at your chat, people are still hanging on to this idea. And it's like, I don't know, Garm. Listen, okay, books, well, look, I, I am not, edu you know, I, I know about, about what I know about homeopathy. You are being a wheezy little fuck, okay? I'm going to fucking show how you're being a wheezy little fuck right now. You sent me these sources and now you, and you did say, okay, why you said, you said you had sources on hand and you said you knew about sources. Why are you just sending me stuff from Google Scholar then? Everything I've ever seen about it. Obviously, I've not looked at it no, for ages. No, I'm not bringing it's you on yet. Completely, I've got a know, segment I'm looking to cover, okay? Every medical society and association says it's a load of bullshit. If you've got anything that says otherwise, I'll review it and I'll yeah, look at it and we'll fuck go off from there, I guess. Maybe it's because I've studied psych a bunch, but I think it's like interesting and important to have that because any little bit that we can do to help patients out, especially with pain and stuff where a lot of it's in the brain, it's like, it's, it's all important to consider. And, you know, if somebody has a family member that like... Listen, book smarts, if you don't want to see yourself get exposed, that's fine. Okay, we'll chat later. Okay, I'm watching this conversation because I'm trying to be as good faith as I can and making sure that I've got a correct recollection of what was said, because I don't want to misattribute arguments to you that you didn't made make, okay? Why are you being so fucking obnoxious? All the literature I've read where you're meant to be more chill with patients about this is more so accepting that like people are already pursuing these things and patients will already, already bring these to you and they don't trust institutions. And the same people that don't trust like hospitals and institutions are the people seeking out these therapies. So if you get them in your office, don't scare them off by like talking down whatever they're doing currently. Find a way to bring that in with like modern treatments and things like that, because that's how you're going to retain patients more. Right. And you're going to have to work with people where they're where they're at, like superstitions and all. And that that's mostly the message here. It's not meant to like necessarily encourage that, I guess, or like make it more mainstream. It, it's more so to just be accepting of there are people that believe in this stuff. And as long as they're having other medicine, that's good. We don't want them to turn away from the medical system like entirely because that's going to produce worse outcomes because it's just not doing anything that will actually like prevent the underlying causes of things. Okay. Well, yeah, like I say, if you've got anything, I'll be really interested to, to read it. Um, but uh, listen, I'll let you get. To so the presentation that Booksmarts gives here is that he's got all these fucking sources about all this shit that I can read up on this stuff, right? Do you know what he sent me? This is the first thing he sent me. So it's from it's from the Alternative and Complementary Medicine Journal. Okay. So what Booksmarts was saying to me on the call is that it was about um, some sort of psychological impact to treatment and that actually it's not about, uh, you know, maybe, listen, Booksmarts, I'll have you on, uh, you know, I don't have time to talk to you today. We can speak later this week about this, okay? Because there's a bit more research I want to do before I actually talk to you, okay? I'm not coming unprepared this time to talk to you because I'm a bit concerned about some of the shit that you've been saying, okay? And I just want to, you know, clarify what your position is and make sure that I'm equipped to have a conversation with you about this because some of the stuff that I've seen is a bit concerning. Look at this, okay? I love you too, Booksmarts. You're my friend, okay? And I'm sorry if I'm coming across as angry, okay? I do honestly love you. 
but I'm just a bit pissed off, okay? Okay, so there's this study here, okay? Homeopathy and conventional medicine, an outcome study comparing effectiveness in the primary care setting, okay? So I need to look at this in more detail, but the point that Booksmarts was making on stream is that this is a placebo, okay? And that as, as a psychological thing for placebo, it could work. But this study, the conclusion, I need to read it in full, homeopathy appeared to be at least as effective as conventional medical care in the treatment of patients with three conditions studied. That's not saying what he said it, he was talking about. This is saying that homeopathy is, is effective as conventional medicine. So this doesn't back up the point he was saying. This is a study that I would be concerned about because I'm like, hang on a fucking minute. This is saying that it's as effective as normal medical treatment. What is this journal anyway? The Journal of Alternative and Complementary Medicine? No, book smarts. I'm not fucking talking to you about this again until I've done a bit of research myself, okay? Because you're fucking being weaselly as fuck. You're saying to me on stream, I've got evidence here that shows that it's, psycholo that it's fucking psychological uh, effects and stuff like that. But the source you're backing that up with, okay, when you say you're well read on this, I've read loads about it, da 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 da, is some, from some fucking alternative medical journal, okay? And it's stating that homeopathy seems to be as effective as conventional medical care. So... You know, if you're trying to make the point that you're trying to make, you're making the point that I'm worried that you're trying to make with this fucking citation. What are you doing? Okay, let's get to number two, okay? Homeopathy for depression, a systematic review of the research evidence. A comprehensive search for published and unpublished studies has demonstrated that the evidence for the effectiveness of homeopathy and depression is limited due to the lack of high quality due to the lack of quality due to the lack of clinical trials of high quality. Further research is required and should include well-designed controlled studies with sufficient numbers of participants. What? This isn't saying what you say it's saying. This is saying that the studies that exist aren't good enough and there needs to be more research. What? No, I'm not letting him on now because, because, okay, I'm going to be prepared when I speak to him about this. I'm not going to have him on to talk about this unless I'm prepared because I need to make sure that I'm rock solid in every point that I'm making, okay? Because if this is what he's citing to me, right, if this is what he's citing to me as his evidence for the claims that he's making on stream, okay, no, I'm not just going to have him off offhand. I'm going to do some fucking research on this so I'm prepared for any bullshit he tries to throw my way because what he's throwing at me to back this up is fucking ludicrous. This source is, is against the point he's trying to make in the conclusion. Look, it says here that the proof is limited because of a lack of clinical trials of high quality. <laughs> what? Why have you linked stuff to me that doesn't back up your point then? It doesn't make any sense. You were making out on stream that you had all of this re... Oh, I've done all of the reading. I've done all of the reading. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Why are you sending me stuff that debunks the point you're trying to make then? It doesn't make any fucking sense, mate. It doesn't make any fucking sense whatsoever. Patient satisfaction and side effects in primary care. An observational study comparing homeopathy and conventional medicine. I don't know what this is. BMC compl complementary medicine and therapies. Book smarts, you've, you've done goofed, mate. You've done goofed. You were on stream being smug as fuck yesterday about how fucking smart you are, okay? And now you're getting blown the fuck out because your sources are bullshit, okay? No, because I'm pissed off, mate, because you were so fucking smug with me yesterday. You sent me a bunch of fucking sources, right? Do you know what it is, right? I wasn't even going to fucking read this shit, okay? I wasn't even going to fucking read this shit because I was like, oh, I don't really care that much. We've had a conversation about it. You start your stream about blowing me the fuck out. No, bro, the person that's getting blown the fuck out is you, motherfucker. It's you. You're going, oh, let me on your stream. You don't want me on your stream earlier when you were fucking streaming, chatting shit about me. So, yeah. It's going to happen the other way around now, bitch. And guess what? I came fucking prepared, motherfucker. I came fucking prepared, okay? So you're going to get embarrassed now. When we speak later in the week, you're going to get fucking embarrassed then as well, okay? There we go. I need to read this and, you know, do more research, obviously. But let's have a look at this. What does it say at the end? In a primary care setting, patient satisfaction is higher with, home is higher with homeopathic treatment compared to conventional treatment. Oh, so the patients are happy with it. Okay, but what about the health outcomes? What about the health outcomes? What about the health outcomes? You might be happy with something. If I have cancer, okay, if you give me water to drink, okay, I might be happy with, the, uh, with that treatment. 
but that and I might be less happy with chemotherapy but it's actually the chemotherapy that's doing the work even though it hurts even though it's painful even though it fucks my body up that's what works so yeah I don't give a shit about patient satisfaction with treatment it's about health outcomes it's health outcomes that actually matter yeah, but okay, book smart. This what you said in our convo. Why have you sent me sources that say this? Then you fucking idiot. Okay, why have you sent me sources? You call yourself book smarts. You've sent me a bunch of studies that are complete fucking horseshit, mate. So jokes on you, buddy. Who's fucking smug now, bitch? Well then, okay, no. What I'm annoyed about is he's going on about how he's got all these great sources for me, and then he fucking sends me a bunch of bullshit. Furthermore, certified homeopathic treatment is perceived as a low-risk therapy with less side effects than conventional treatment. This is a study that's unironically. I need to read it in full, but to me, from what I've read so far, it seems to me that this is actually suggesting that homeopathy is a better treatment than conventional treatment. Yes, I know that I need to read more. Okay. I know that I need to read more. I agree with you, okay? And that's why I'm not speaking to Book Smarts now. And that's why I'm not speaking to Book Smarts now. I'll speak to him later when I've looked into it more, okay? Okay, Iko, you can shut the fuck up as well, okay? I'm not saying that Book Smarts is suggesting I know what Book Smarts said. My point is, why is Book Smarts saying X on stream and sending me sources that say Y and Z? That's the point I'm making, you fucking idiot, okay? That's the point I'm fucking making. How can you not fucking get this, okay? If you're going to make a claim on stream and say you've got sources to back it up, why the fuck are you sending me sources which are basically just dick-sucking homeopathy as a good treatment in itself? No, it's fucking bullshit. I'm not going to take it from smug fucking pricks like Booksmarts who act like they're so fucking clever on stream and they've got all these studies and then when you get to the meat and potatoes of what they've sent you, it's a bunch of bunk fucking bullshit. Fuck that. Fuck that. Anyway, let's have a look over some actual good information about uh, homeotherapy, okay? So let's look at the NHS first of all. Everyone trusts the NHS as a good source of information about healthcare. Can I just uh, clarify that first of all? Everyone comfortable with the NHS as a good source of healthcare information? Homeopathy is a treatment based on the highly diluted so. A tooth, and, and bear in mind, Booksmarts did say, Booksmarts did say that is just a placebo. My concern isn't with what book starts smed to me on stream as such. My concern is his sources, which he's a complete fucking bullshit, which he sent me to back up his point, okay? The sources he sent don't back up his point. In fact, the sources he sent argue that homeopathy is a treatment beyond placebo, okay? Quite strongly. And I just want to make it clear that that isn't the case, okay? Homeopathy is a treatment based on the... So, there's this study which I've had a quick look at, okay? A 2010 House of Commons Science and Technology Committee report on homeopathy said that homeopathic treatments perform no better than placebos, dummy treatments. So this was a report that ended up stopping homeopathic treatment on the NHS. The government's position on homeopathy is confused. On the one hand, it accepts that homeopathy is a placebo treatment. There is, this is an evidence-based view. On the other hand, it funds homeopathy on the NHS without taking a view on the ethics of providing placebo treatments. We argue that this undermines the relationship between NHS doctors and their patients, reduces real patient choice and puts patients' health at risk. The government should stop allowing the funding of homeopathy on the NHS. Listen, book smarts. What annoys me is you giving me all this smug bullshit on stream about how you fucking read all about this stuff and you know all about it. But when it comes to the meat and potatoes, the sources you've sent me don't you know, the point you're making aren't the point that's made in those things you've sent me. So why did you send them to me? Why did you send that to me? And I'm, that, I'm going to take your advice and I'm going to do my own research, okay? But the, the thing that you're missing with homeopathy, okay, the, prob the thing that you're missing with homeopathy, okay, well then why did you send me those sources then? But why did you bother sending me these sources? It doesn't make any sense. Why did you send me the source? You were very fucking smug to me. I don't expect you to read or research this shit, but even a basic Google Scholar search brings up these. So you're acting like, oh, I just had to do a basic Google Scholar search to find this, and the shit you've sent me is complete nonsense. So fuck you. You're gonna act fucking smug with me, I'll act fucking smug with you, okay? What the fuck do you, who do you fuck do you think you are? Who the fuck do you think you are? No, I'm going to throw a fit 
you're doing it again. You're acting like a fucking smug piece of shit, right? Listen, we're friends and we're still going to be friends, okay? But I'm going to fucking call you out for this. Because the way you were acting on stream and then you're acting all smug like, oh, I found this very easily. But the information you've sent is complete bunk. Like, what do you mean? Varying strengths and methodologies here. <laughs> Varying strengths and methodologies, okay. But you could look up various illnesses and you'll see plenty of plenty boasting positive effects in patient reported outcomes. I'll be looking into that, don't worry. I'm gonna have a little conversation when I'm a bit more prepared, okay? Homeopathy and other alternative medicines can really help patients to manage pain, stress, side effects, and emotional distress. We'll be investigating further. No. Okay, why do you think I freaked out? I freaked out because the sources you sent me were complete fucking bullshit. You might as well have sent me an article, um, you know, about CBT. Cock and bull torture. That's how relevant they were to the point you were making. The only relevance is they talk about homeopathy. But one of them, one of them, unironically suggests that homeopathy. Two of them suggest homeopathy is like an alter a, a valid alternative treatment to standard medicine, which is complete bullshit. And I'm a bit concerned if we're going to be fucking promoting homeopathy in any way as any sort of positive thing when it is seen as bunk pseudoscience that is just a placebo and that is it it is nothing more than a placebo okay there's little evidence to support homeopathy and this is the national center for contemporary and integrative help in integrative help shock and NLH, torture. Or whatever there's a little evidence to support homeopathy as an effective treatment for any specific health condition but this is my point, right? You're saying not on its own. Okay, so we're giving someone a medical treatment, okay, and it's doing the right thing, right? My concern is that if we're going to a homeo homeopathic... <laughs> Thanks for the bit stuff. Logic and book smarts torture CBT. Why, why the fuck are we, are we looking to homeopathy? My point is, why would you want someone... Okay, why would you want someone who is getting effective medical treatment to go to some quack and spend $200 to get treatment that acts as a placebo only? Why would you want to in any way support that behavior? That's madness. And if you've got sources that demonstrate the point that you're making, that there's some extra value in it, fine, I'll look at that. But you haven't sent me that so far. You sent me a bunch of stuff which defends homeopathy as a treatment in itself. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to start fucking timing people out. That's not book was, what Book was arguing. If that isn't what Book is arguing, why, is it, why are his sources arguing that? Why are his sources arguing that if he's not arguing that? Why, is, why would you send someone sources if you're making an argument if the source doesn't back up the argument that you're making? I'm sorry, but this is complete fucking... This is ridiculous. You're going to come on my stream and act like you got all the fucking sources coming out of your ass and you send me a load of bullshit. Yeah, I'm going to be a bit annoyed about that. And go, where's the actual fucking meat and potatoes here? Exactly. Why would I? Of course I want those sources. That's what you said you had for me. No, I'm not speaking to Book Smarts today because he's weaselly as fuck. And I'm not having that little weasel on my stream again until I'm prepared to talk about this, having done the research and the due diligence, so I can come to the table and argue my Shut point in the most effective way possible. Effective he's a fucking weasel. He's so fucking weaselly. Yesterday he was going on about how fucking he knew all this stuff. He sends me a bunch of sources and they're bullshit. Oh, well, come on. You should have looked for yourself for the sources. But he's saying, you know, oh, I looked at fucking Google Scholar and these Patients came up as if I should have found them easily myself. Has no effect. Seems like Book is talking about getting people out of doing home. No, Darry, you're shit. fucking idiot as well, right? I've seen sources. your fucking stupid ass sources comments in chat, right? Good book also fuck off Ico A Karu Brow. Okay, because here's the difference, you More fucking like idiot. Dumb, you fucking right idiot, guys. okay? If someone's getting a sugar pill, you could charge a cent for that, okay? If someone's going for fucking homeopathy, that'll cost them 200 fucking dollars, and they'll be introduced to some fucking quack doctor who fucking knows what other bullshit that they're going to be, you know, presented to. Alternative medicine is broadly a fucking scam, okay? And people that get into these communities and end up spending loads of money on it, it's wrong. It's co totally wrong. The idea that someone is going to some quack hip, um, home homeopath and paying 200 bucks for the privilege of getting a placebo is fucked up. And if you're going to defend that, you're fucking stupid, okay? And there's people in chat, and there's people in chat that are acting, and there's people in chat that are acting like you know, oh well, what's the problem? Oh, it's just like a sugar pill. 
It's just like a sugar pill. You're a fucking absolute fucking retard if you're going to sit there and you're going to argue with me that taking a sugar pill is in any way fucking equivalent to homeopathy. You're literally fucking retarded, okay? Because it's not the same thing. It's not the same thing at all. Taking a sugar pill is a fucking negligible cost, okay? Going to fucking homeopathy costs a shitload of money. you interacting with some quack doctor that's going to fill your head up with bullshit they're incentivized okay they're fucking incentivized to, to you know sell you the highest fucking shit they can that's complete nonsense is exploitation and you're fucking defending it and you're fucking defending it you're fucking defending it no no book smarts it's not just you now you've got dairy with this stupid comment going oh well it's just like a sugar pill isn't it placebo effect you smug cunts, right? You smug fucking cunts can fuck off because I tell you fucking what, okay? I, and that, yeah, exactly. And that's the other point as well. Plus, you know, I, I need to look into this more. I need to understand the ethics around placebo treatment because obviously doctors don't prescribe placebo treatment. And I need to understand the nature of that in order to better know how to tackle that. So my point is, like, if I look into it and a placebo isn't considered my ethical, put a pill in my butt one time. you know, if a, if a placebo isn't considered ethical, hey, a lot. is it That's ethical really to be permissive Keep of placebo treatment as part of normal health care? Thanks very much for all the support, by the way. I'm a bit angry, as you can tell. So if you've got, like, a mainline doctor and, and a patient asks, is this treatment effective? then sh one would think that maybe that I don't see why if it's if ethically bound to be supportive of say treatment that is that is oh, I don't know I need to look into it more the anti-science left is a greater cancer than leftoid wokes colds but yeah don't worry are we doing a bit more research okay are we doing a bit more fucking research but I'm pissed off I'm pissed off I'm pissed off that someone's come onto my stream and acted like they fucking know better than me. And the sources they've sent are complete bullshit. Yeah, of course I'm pissed off with that. Why wouldn't I be? Why would you act so smug when you don't even have the fucking sources at hand that you say you do? If you had the sources at hand... The only solution to the lefty cancer is a one part per million mixture of mint and sage. If you've got the sources at hand to act as smug as you do, why didn't you send those to me? Why didn't you send me all these great sources that you think that you've got? Why did you do a Google Scholar search and send me a bunch of bullshit? Listen... I'm right on this. Yes, I've not read the things in full, okay? But... <laughs> Imagine if the pill my mom put in my butt was a placebo and it wasn't real. Wait, I'd be so mad if it was a placebo. I missed this from Booksmarts. If someone is putting a pill in my butt, it better be real. I missed this from Booksmarts. The only solution to the lefty cancer is one part per million mixture of min and sage. <laughs> that is a great fucking meme. That is a great fucking meme. And yeah, uh, clearly I've read more than he did, otherwise he wouldn't have sent them. Like, I appreciate I've not read the whole thing, but like, what what other conclusion am I supposed to come to when I see this? Homeopathy appeared to be at least as effective as conventional medical care in the treatment of patients with the three conditions studied. If that's not your point, why? Okay, uh, just answer me this, Book Smarts. If this isn't your point, why did you send me this? You're the one that sent me this as a source, you fucking idiot. I'm just showing you the sources you sent to me. You sent this to me in a fucking Discord message. You sent this to me in a fucking Discord message. I'm showing the stream. This was supposed to support your point. What? What? You Homeopathy sent this to me. Is effective in treating ligma. What do you mean? What am I supposed... Oh, you, you sent this to me and I read it. And I was like, oh, this looks like bullshit. Why has he sent this to me? Homeopathy is an outdated term. Book smarts. nomenclature is linked copper. Can I leak the DMs? Can I leak the DMs? Okay. I'm getting really pissed off. Okay. I'll leak the DMs. I don't expect you to read or research this shit, but even a basic Google Scholar search brings up these. Can you hear the fucking smugness dripping off that? Can you hear the fucking smugness dripping off that, right? I don't expect you to research this, but even a basic Google Scholar search brings up these. Yeah, and they're complete fucking bullshit. 
Can you understand? Can you understand why I'm pissed off? Can you at least understand why I'm pissed off? Because this smug piece of shit is coming to me going, I don't expect you to research this, but here you go. And the stuff he sent to me doesn't even back up his position. And some of it is making the opposite argument to the one that he claims he's making, saying that homeopathy is an alternative is a good alternative treatment standard medicine so what's the smugness That's about book smart you fucking book. dick what's the fucking what is the fucking what is the fucking smugness about bro so just to clarify okay just to clarify right he said on stream his position was his position was this okay he his position was this on stream homeopathy can work as a placebo, okay, can work as a placebo treatment, um, as long as the healthcare professional um, is aware of it or something like that, okay? And the first thing he linked me was this. This is the first thing that I read. And he said smugly, you should have found this out yourself in as many words. Homeopathy appeared to be at least as effective as conventional medical care in the treatment of patients with the three conditions studied. If you got that message, would you be annoyed? If you got that message and this was the first thing that you saw, would you be pissed off? Bearing in mind what had happened up until now. Like, this is outrageous. Varying strengths and methodologies here. Varying strengths and methodologies. This one, do you know who David Riley is? Do you know who David Riley is? A homeopathic practitioner. David Riley is a homeopathic practitioner. So a homeopathic practitioner is saying, oh, yeah, um, this stuff works as good as normal medicine. <laughs> what a fucking what a crazy coincidence. What a crazy coincidence. And also, don't forget, this is in the Journal of Alternative and Complementary Medicine. Fantastic. Good source. Thank you. A comprehensive search, look, and says limited, like, can you understand why I would get this and be like, this doesn't even say what you think it's saying, and you're acting all smug about it. But no, book smarts, you're, you're being annoying right now because you're acting so, you're acting so smug with me, and then you're playing it off as some sort of meme or a joke. Varying strength, look, varying strengths and methodologies here. Oh my fucking God. But you can look up various illnesses and you'll see plenty boasting positive effects in patient reported outcomes. If you can find plenty, I did send not them read to me. Them. I'm too chad to read links. I just go with my gut and argue until I win. If there's so, if there's various things of this, this should be pretty easy for you to find and send them to me. They should be pretty easy for you to find and send them to me. Homeopathy, homeopathy, and other alternative medicines can really help patients to manage pain, stress, side effects, and emotional distress. If that's the case. If this is truly the case, if your claim is correct, okay, why does the why does the NHS have this take on it? There's been extensive investigation of the effectiveness of homeopathy. There's no good quality evidence that homeopathy is effective as a treatment for any medical condition. Homeopathy and other alternative medicines can really help patients to manage pain, stress, side effects, and emotional distress. I'm very happy to have There's accomplished no good quality my goal evidence of getting that you to actually research your positions. Is effective this as has all been treatment a for any health chess conditions. Game to get you to try Pepe. Oh, now it's just memes. And now it's just memes. The cope starts. Okay. Self-reporting is totally legit and not a bullshit way for quacks to claim their dangerous the bullshit is legitimate. The cope. The cope's coming through now. Oh, I was just memeing on you. It's important to have a measured critique of these treatments and acknowledge when they're useful. It doesn't hurt to add an existing treatment regime generally. Well, um, the NHS doesn't seem to think that they're useful. They don't even fund them as a treatment anymore. Okay? What is this? The, the, what is this? Yeah, National Institute of Health doesn't seem to think they're useful. There's little evidence to support homeopathy as an effective treatment for any specific medical treatment. So, I'll ask you. Where's this evidence that says they're useful? Can you send it to me, please? And I'll review it. No, I'm not speaking to Booksmarts now. Because Booksmarts is a little fucking weasel. He's a little piece of shit weasel, okay? Who's come on my stream and acted like a smug prick. And now I've looked into it a bit more. And he's full of shit. He's got no fucking right to act so fucking smug on my stream when he's so full of shit, okay? Going on like he's got all this fucking stuff to back up his claims. And then he sends me complete bullshit. And now he's coping. Now he's just fucking coping. Now nah, the bridge isn't burning. 
Listen, I'm very angry at Booksmart, but I still love him, okay? If he was my child, it would have to be a, a serious beating to restore order. <laughs> That's what would happen. <clears throat> anyway, I spoke to my friend. I spoke to my friend who's uh, actually a doctor. He's a pediatrician in London. He's actually an NHS doctor, okay? And um, he had some suggestions. He had some suggestions for some other topics we could discuss, book smarts. Perhaps you'd be interested. So the first topic was witchcraft. Should we still be afraid? And the second topic was, is Harry Potter a true story? So if you want to discuss those, maybe we could, uh, maybe we could get into some of those topics too. <laughs> 